Step first search is an algorithm for finding spanning trees. It works by starting off with an arbitrary vertex. After you choose an arbitrary vertex, you follow an edge to a vertex that has not yet been explored. And when there are no more edges to choose from, you backtrack. So the best way to show this is by example. This is from page 795 of McGraw-Hill's Discrete Mathematics textbook. So we're going to choose a vertex to start off with, and that's A. For the sake of simplicity, we're going to go to alphabetical order. So at A, we have B and G to choose from, and we're going to choose B. Again, going in alphabetical order, instead of G, we're going to go to C. In C, you have H, then next is G, and finally L. And at L, you can see there are no more edges to choose from, so we're going to have to backtrack. So let's backtrack to G. And you might think that we can go to A or B, but remember that A and B have already been explored, so we're going to have to keep backtracking. So we backtrack to H. Again, we're going to continue in alphabetical order. So instead of M, we're going to go to I. Continuing, we go to D, E, F, K, J. And at J, we, remember, we cannot go to E or I because they have already been visited. So let's go to N. Again, N has no more um, edges to go to, so we're going to have to backtrack. So N, we backtrack to J. We continue backtracking to K, F, E, D, and finally I. And at I, M is a vertex that has not yet been visited. So we go to M. So to recap, what path did we take? We went A, B, C, H, G, L. And then remember, we backtrack to H. So next is I, D, E, F, K, J, N, and remember we backtrack to I, so finally N. All the vertices have been explored, so therefore the algorithm is complete. In the next video, I'm going to show you breadth search, which is a little bit different.